all right y'all what is going on you know got another video for you guys again this time i'm at a apm 400 or merc whatever all the same shit i'm at apm over here in uh i guess it's either terminal island or san pedro whatever just before you hit that big old green bridge or whatever and i'm about to take you guys on another ride along with me or whatever all right y'all man we back inside and everything um Right now, I'm just looking for a uh, same size chassis that this homeboy got in front of me right here. Um, I'm having some little technical difficulties right now because, as you know, I'm using my iPhone in 4K to film all my videos, so memories and motherfucking sometimes. So, you know. Yard equipment got the right away, no matter what, they hit you or not, automatically our fault. And I hope you guys enjoyed that other video and um, saw saw the part where uh, that top panel almost hit me. Like I said, let me know if I was in the wrong or let me know if, if that was that guy's fault and he should have been paying attention to what the hell he was doing. Let me know, man, for real. I'm not a, I'm the type of individual, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. It is what it is, you know, learn from it, accept it, and move on. That's it. That's just how I am. Give me like a good ass chassis or whatever to take with me and uh, see what happens. This is my first time in like about it, almost a year or so I was doing videos like this. So they got a good selection of chassis, by the way. Uh, one thing about nighttime that I personally like is that, oh, shit. One thing about nighttime that I personally like is that at nighttime, the mechanics up here, they don't even give a fuck. Like as long as your lights work and your tires are good, they don't give a fuck about the BIT. They don't even turn your ass around really, depending who's uh, working. Most of the time, these guys are damn near almost half asleep or they on their phone. Shit. I see it as that, but, um... Let me go check this uh, chassis out right quick. And then, um, this one checks out good or whatever the case may be. Then, take this motherfucker. Let's go back to my spot get this can put on. That chassis wasn't no good. That chassis ain't gonna, ain't gonna have no mud flaps. It got good tires and everything, but no mud flaps. And I don't really ain't trying to deal with that, just, that shit. So let's check this next one right here. Uh, if you're thinking about doing this or you're barely starting off, make sure your chassis is good at all times. Do not get a fucked up chassis because all it is is gonna fuck you up. Uh, I was trying to back up right now. I almost hit the goddamn uh, divider right here. Backing up. I wasn't paying attention to the hell I was doing. Well, anyway, y'all, I ain't no perfect driver. <laughs> I ain't no perfect driver. I fuck up. <laughs> it is what it is, you know. All right, let me check this chassis out. Oh, boy. I'm not, I'm not gonna go through this issue again. This cha that chassis had a bad tire. But, uh, let me check this one. I'm checking all the chassis and everything. Got the so let's go. All right, man. One thing about driving these trucks is like uh, uh, that I can say personally is uh, get used to using your mirrors. Like I said, I got a good chassis and everything, and um go to my spot and everything pray to god i get in here that my that the that the uh, ground location that i'm going to is pretty empty because uh it's been times i've been i've been seeing people get uh stuck up in here and everything especially late at night but uh 
uh, night shift is way better. In my opinion, I like night shift, especially if you're a local driver doing nighttime, it's way better. Um, the only thing is, is that between five o'clock to like about 7.38, pretty much between five o'clock to seven o'clock is packed. I ain't gonna lie, it's the truth. It's pretty congested depending on where you go. But other than that, after eight o'clock, 8 o'clock and on to like about closing, it's dead empty up in this motherfucker. And um and um it's dead empty, you making some money. I honestly I, I I'm doing good with this night shift stuff. I really never thought just working only night shift, you'll make some money out here. I've always heard story early on starting off with this, listening to what other people are saying. Um if you're gonna get into this uh trucking stuff and do containers or whatever the case may be listen to yourself do what's best for you only you can control and manage how much money you make out here nobody else can tell you how much you're going to make it all depends on you and it all depends on your worth that your worth at your worth uh ethics excuse me and uh yeah and you know that's a little that's a little uh some little wisdom for me and everything from my experiences everybody else who's been driving out here has their own experiences, has their own ways of getting their bread out here, you know? And I can't knock another man or woman for how they get their money out here. And that's just me, and that's just coming from me. You just get to talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and talk, and you guys get to come on the ride along with me while I'm doing this and everything. So enjoy the video. And um, like I said, I'm gonna go back and edit it, look through it, do all that stuff, and make it interesting as possible, man. Because on my channel, I talk about everything. I just haven't talked about trucking stuff in a long time. And um, shout out to uh, Isaac of, of Olympia, I think of Olympic or Olympia, or I think that's what your name is and everything. He brought this idea to me in the comment section. And um, ever since I did that first video at uh, WBCT, I was like, okay, if I put that video together, and that was kind of pretty interesting and everything. And the one from Pure E, and the one, and the one from WBCT, if I repeat myself again, I'm sorry. You know, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep continuing doing this. It goes like this because how the way I feel and from what's going on, more videos need to come out like this, especially exposing the good and the bad and ugly at these uh at these container at these container ports and everything, and especially how the way we get treated and how the way they hold us up. Fridays, shit. Friday daytimes are the worst fucking days of fucking work. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you about that. If I'm working tomorrow, I might do a video on that working Fridays and shit. Because I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this shit quick about Fridays. Pretty much after 11 to th after 11:30, forget about it. Your ass is stuck in there all fucking all goddamn day till like about three o'clock. Believe me when I say this shit. It's true. In the early morning between seven to like about ten, hell yeah, your ass is in and out of there. But once you hit 11:30 lunch break, forget it. Your ass ain't getting out of there anytime soon. y'all I'm about to uh, get to the spot right now and uh hours waiting up in here just to get my can and everything. I finally get to get the hell up out of here. Real talk. Four hours. Real shit. And um, I got inside of here at uh, 8 o'clock to be exact. Now it's already like 1230 already. I already got my can and everything. So that was four long ass hours. That's how it is, man. 
That's how it is up in there, man. Fuck. Uh, one thing I can say about that is if you got patience. Oh shit. Got damn hours. And uh, this ain't nothing. Um, way back in the day when I really started doing this and everything, this was at another place uh, called uh, Pier A or uh, A90. I was there for eight, eight long ass hours for one uh, can. Yeah, I got the waiting time and everything, but still, it's like, I don't know. Uh, as of right now, I'm about to exit out of here, so uh, enjoy the ride along. We'll see if we go through the uh, roadability inspection. And um, as a matter of fact, let's talk about uh, this port, by the way. They're going automated. You see those uh, automated cranes right there? They're about to go automation right now. That's what they're doing on this construction. So, um, I like the, I like the fact I'm that they're bad about that. Um, I'm not bad about that. What happened was I had to get another fucking phone call. That's why I hate when I do be making videos on my phone. Somebody always has to call. Uh, oh yeah. I think, like, during the daytime, because I know it's during the day. Alright, this is the shit I don't like. Like I said, I got these guys on camera. They need these idiots trying to hit me. Or whatever the case may be, your ass is on camera. It's your company name, truck, color, everything. But anyway, like I said, enough all the, enough all the, the shit talking and everything. <laughs> like I said, uh, when I notice compared to daytime and nighttime with these mechanics, during the daytime, it's all the politics and the bullshit I guess they have to go through. And at nighttime, it's like, they chilling. You know, and, um, I can't complain about that shit. I don't blame them. I do the same thing, too. But it ain't nothing wrong with that. Now, this is what the hell I hate. I hate these damn yellow poles right here. Man, I'm telling you, uh, I'm talking all this shit and everything. Let me pay attention to what the hell I'm doing. And I scraped and I repainted the, almost the quarter, the quarter fender of the damn truck back in the day, man. Real talk though. So I recommend any uh, new driver or whatever. Uh, take it easy. Get up. 
there, lock the corners, and then... Alright y'all, let's go. This is actually the outgate. Alright y'all, let's get up. Oh, yeah, let's go.